Hey everybody. I had an interesting conversation with somebody the other day and I wanted to throw it out there to all of you to see what your thoughts on the topic are. And it started by someone telling me that they felt that nitrite was more toxic to fish than ammonia was. And of course I responded immediately by saying, no, that's not right. Ammonia is much more toxic than nitrite. Nitrite, you know, is harmful to fish, but ammonia is what is really toxic to fish. And while they did ultimately agree with me that from a purely biological point of view, ammonia does physically do more damage to the fish in a short term uh, sense, they worried more about nitrate exposure and then they went on to explain their reasoning and it was a really sound reason and it's got me to thinking more and more about my recent experience with my ammonia spike that I had in my uh, quarantine tank. I never did find any nitrate in there on the few times that I tested but I did get a big ammonia spike and it killed a bunch of fish and so I've been thinking about this topic anyway uh, which is probably why this topic came up anyway. So their concern about the nitrate was that when you've got ammonia in the tank and your fish are experiencing ammonia toxicity, you can tell. And you can tell as it's getting worse. As your fish become exposed to the ammonia, they begin showing signs of discomfort. And if you're astute enough, if you're paying attention enough to your fish and you're familiar enough with their behavior, you can see fairly early on that something's not right and this will alert you, you can find out the ammonia is there, and then you can go ahead and deal with it. And of course, as the symptoms progress, you know, as the ammonia toxicity progresses, the symptoms will progress, and so there are signs that your fish are in distress, and so on and so forth, and that gives you the opportunity to do something about it, and then of course the fish can uh, recover in time from the ammonia exposure. Nitrite, on the other hand, and he makes a very good point here, Nitrite doesn't really show any signs of issues that the fish are having. Usually the first time you can tell that there's nitrite toxicity is when the fish die. And by the time the fish is dead and you test your water and you find out that nitrite is in there, there's not a lot you can do about it. And again, if there was, you could go ahead and start your own religion. Because once the fish is dead, if that's your first indicator that's a pretty serious indicator that you've got something going wrong with your tank. So in a sense, that does, you know, that is a valid argument that he's more worried about nitrite being, you know, present. But my thing, and I've been thinking more and more about this, is, is what scenarios are you going to have where you've got nitrite spiking but not ammonia? You know, I, every experience I've ever had, the only reason I would get a little bit of a nitrite spike would be because of a little ammonia spike. It's almost like a wave. The ammonia would build up and that excess ammonia would then cause a little bit of an overwhelm and I'd get a little bit of a spike of nitrite uh, on the other side of that. So I suppose there are circumstances this person wouldn't have been having this conversation with me if they had not at some point had these experiences. So what I'd like to know from you is what your experiences are. Have you ever had this situation? How do you feel about nitrite versus ammonia? Again, not talking about nitrate or anything like that, but as far as pure toxicity, what are you more concerned about, ammonia or the nitrite? I've never really worried that much about nitrite. If you, again, it's just it's nothing that I've ever really worried about. I'm really sort of intrigued by this idea that the nitrite is more insidious. I guess more insidious would be a better word than saying more toxic. Uh, you just have no idea anything's going wrong and then all of a sudden your fish are dying. And with the ammonia, as I said, you have ample opportunity to, to see that something is going wrong and you can correct for it and the fish can recover, uh, etc. So again, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts, but that's all I got time for today. So that was today's video. Make sure you subscribe, you never know what you're going to get with me. Thanks for watching this one, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you real soon in the next one.